You might want to pray in a situation like this, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. That, that might work. Yeah, that might get me praying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it going to take uh, when you feel that mortal fear of that you're going to die? Would you think that you might become a, what used to be called a, a foxhole Christian? Uh, there could be foxhole Buddhists. Mm, foxhole Muslims. Foxhole Hindus. All kinds of stripes. What a lot of people on the planet do is they pray. They pray to God or gods or, gosh, all kinds of things. In the juju deal, say in parts of West Africa, there's a whole bunch of different characters who have different powers and traits and stories that go with them and names and secret names I guess I'm just guessing there because I don't know a lot about it but I do know that there's a belief system hmm? and we pray in our own way each one of us those that do to God or for some of you who are less comfortable with naming that name, perhaps oh, a power greater than myself, something like that. Uh, I don't know, uh, the universe might be comfortable for some, or creation. There are all kinds of names for God, or and some people are not comfortable with a say a concept of a thinking knowing sentient god uh, but are more in tune with something in nature the infinite that depth of when you go within how big small gets and when you go outside and you go into the macro you can see how big it is, but you can also then, for example, when you see an image of the current known universe, it actually seems to have a finite size in the sense that that's the representation of everything that we know. Okay, we're over here, so I have to stop chatting with you and tend to this. Okay, I'll be right with you. Yeah, God can be everywhere, and because of the single focus that you have as a sentient awareness, and you seem to be housed in a corporeal form, interacting with the space-time, reality, things that are hard and go bump in the night, uh, money, uh, sex, marriage, children, mm, school, education, vacation, and we come back to, inevitably, money. Now, what about prayer? into prayer requires that you still your awareness into a single focal point of attention. You've got to embrace the powerlessness 
of your individual awareness in the face of evidence all around you all the time of this massive work in progress that stretches far beyond the thin skin of the atmosphere of your planet. It's just the way it is. Prayer is your direct highway, instantaneous travel to every part of the known and unknown universe and all realms, beings, entities, whatever, a can of beans, for example, could be prayed to. Yeah, prayer. You can pray during a situation like this, for example. Yeah, prayer. Prayer is your <laughs> way of creating a lightning bolt between you and, well, the, the consciousness you could, I guess, say it's imagination. But what you're praying to... you got to think about your responsibility with prayer. How that works. Hmm. So much to talk about. As you can see. And to really get into it, we need a little series on how to pray. So we're going to have a bunch of little tips. And the first one, of course, is the one that goes with this lesson today. And that is the 90-second chant of, here it comes, I Okay, so I've got to go, and you stay tuned for the next little video in this series. is going to be pretty short. This one's, uh, I'm overindulging, but that's okay. I'll see you next time. Uh, hey, check out the free book uh, if you haven't done the telepathic communication with God. Uh, you should give it a try. See see if it uh, floats your boat. Okay. This is uh, Cinco Dos. Adios.